Hey everybody, I'm Marcel from Tiger Auto, and today we're gonna show you some of the tips and tricks that we've learned over the years out of all the tonneau cover installs that we've done. Now today we're gonna show you guys the installation on our T1 soft roll-up tonneau cover that's on a Toyota Tacoma. Now just sit back and enjoy because we'll show you guys how to install this thing in a jiffy and get you guys back on the road. Before we begin, check to make sure that all the parts and hardware are accounted for. Then if the front bed rail of your pickup is noticeably lower than the side rails, fill the gap by installing the provided weather seal strips to prevent water from leaking in. Now take the main cover assembly and place it on the cab side bed rail. Loosen and temporarily remove the screws at the bulkhead. Be careful that the tarp is not caught in the connector point, which could cause the tarp to rip. After that, take the side rails and slide the ends into the bulkheads. Also, unless the instruction manual says otherwise for your vehicle model, make sure the side rails are lined up with the inner edge of the bed rails and both ends are lined up evenly. Next, we will be attaching the side rails to the bed railing with these clamps. Depending on your model, your package might come with either four, six, or eight clamps total. The important thing to know is that for certain Nissan and Toyota models like this Tacoma, Tiger will include these special brackets in the package to allow you to slide them into the factory utility tracks. Now normally, you would be provided with brackets that attach directly to the bed railing, but because these factory utility tracks for the Tacoma and some other models are too close to the top that would get in the way of the railing, we will need to use these utility tracks to anchor the brackets instead. With that said, go ahead and slide the bottom piece into the utility track and spread them out evenly. As we attach the top half of the clamp, make sure that the jaws of the top piece are hooked all the way into the inner channel of the side rails. Go ahead and tighten the clamps from below, but don't over tighten the clamps because you could cause the side rails to collapse and warp the cover itself. Moving along, unhook the safety straps and roll out the cover along the Velcro tape on the side rails. Keep adjusting the tarp to make sure that the cover is fully stretched out along the rails. Otherwise, it'll be difficult to lock it in on the end. Now try engaging the locking mechanism. If your cover is installed correctly, the latch head should be horizontally in the groove of the tension plate and not digging too deep into the bed rail. You should hear a clicking sound when you get a good latch. Now try closing and opening the tailgate. Carefully release the tension plate with the cable to see if everything is working. Don't slam the gate unless everything is in order. The crossbar should arch upwards when you get the maximum tension on the cover. After that, keep the cover closed and leave the tailgate open. Peek inside to check for any daylight seeping through as you will need to add additional layers of weather strip to fill those gaps. Also, tiny gaps between the tailgate and the cover are normal for which you can apply a weather strip to form a seal. Finally, if you feel that everything is done correctly up to this point and the latch head still can't reach the tension plate or doesn't stay latched, try adjusting the tension plate offset along the rail by loosening these screws. Before we finish, let's address a frequently asked question on how to care for your cover. Yes, this cover is safe to drive through a touchless car wash. Also, just soap and water is the only items that you'll need to clean the surface. Avoid any abrasion chemicals and you'll be able to adjoin your tonneau cover for years to come. Thank you very much for watching.